Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. This morning, we're going to do a zucchini cake. One of my friends, Cartha Hicks, made this for our family a long time ago. We have enjoyed this. My son really likes his cake. So we are going to make that cake this morning. Uh, first of all, we're going to spray our tube pan. And you want to be sure and get it sprayed good because it'll stick if you don't. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. We have three cups of grated zucchini. And it's real pretty, look at it. Three cups of sugar. One and a half cups of corn oil. And the next thing we have is four eggs. They're at room temperature. I don't care to do this because I'm not afraid I'm going to get a bad egg. <laughs> I'm going to take this over to the mixer. That seems to be mixed pretty good. And we're going to start adding our dry ingredients. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Three cups of self-rising flour. Now, if you use plain flour, you'll have to add some soda and some salt. Now, we're going to have to put nuts in it. A cup and a half of pecans. And we're ready to put this in our tube pan. Okay, we're ready to put this in the oven. This is going in a 350 degree oven, and it's going to have to cook for one hour. Now, while our cake is in the oven, we're going to go ahead and do the icing. We have eight ounces of cream cheese. I have left this out so it would be soft and not be in trouble to beat up. And we have a half a cup of butter, and I've left it out so it would be room temperature. The next thing we're going to do is put one teaspoon of vanilla. Since I don't have my measuring spoons over here, I'm just going to measure it by the cap. Okay. Here we go. Oh, three and a half cups of confection of sugar to this. We'll take the cake out and let it cool a little bit before we put this on. If you put it to Ellen while it's a little warm, though, you don't want it to run off of your cake. But it spreads a little better sometimes if you put it on when it's a little warm. Okay, I think that is enough to beat. We'll have to set this aside and wait for the cake to finish. Our zucchini cake has been cooking for one hour. It looks great. I don't think we'll have to do any checking to see if it's done. Usually when they crack a little around like that, they're done anyway. Now we finished our zucchini cake, and I hope you try this cake, and I hope you enjoy it as much as our family does. And I'll see you on another family video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.